Hello, this is Philosophy Talkers in Dublin. I'm Mika Tuomola, uh, Director of Storytelling Research Group Crucible Studio from uh, Helsinki, Finland, Aalto University. Um, I hope there is sufficient light at my own home <laughs> to make this video. This is um, take five, I believe, and I try to put my comments into one final take five. So, if we start from the Walter Benjamin's definition of storytelling as the oldest form of communication that does not convey information as such, but provides it with a point of view of the storyteller so that information becomes an experience, so that the storyteller's handprint is actually in the story, like that of the potters in a pot. I think we cannot escape the idea that the designer as a story listener is necessarily as a storyteller as providing a framework of a point of view in a phenomena that she is describing. So what is then the purpose of organizing information into an experience by providing a point of view? In Aristotelian understanding of a tragedy, if you will, uh, the purpose is to produce catharsis, a pleasurable release of emotion, which he believes to be pity. We are feeling for the characters and their points of views that are represented in the drama. Now, certainly, considering emotion, Bertolt Brecht will disagree in the 50s and 60s and say that, no, a uh, release of emotion may not happen, since if the people are released, the didactic purpose of learning from story, learning from drama, is wasted, because people, when informed about the nature of things from a point of view, should be able to change the world with the emotion they have after the storytelling experience. So we can already see that the purposes of storytelling can vary from the antiquity of the release of emotion to actually story being informative and providing us a point of view that makes us feel those feelings that are needed to make change in the society. Now we can go to the absurd and the purpose of theatre in maybe giving us the sense of absurdity of existence so that we feel laughter and maybe the chain and coming together and maybe the change happens through that. Now the moment we introduce feelings to the storytelling, whether they be pity or laughter or uh, learning um, about the world, uh, we have to start dealing with the what I like to call the ethics of the aesthetics of storytelling or drama. So, I'll, my own favorite piece on that, which I'd like you to consider, is James Joyce's, quite conveniently since you are in Dublin, take on the matter through his alter ego Stefan Dedalus in the portrait, a portrait of the young man as an artist. There he suggests that the storytelling, which is typically thought as a kind of a rhetorical means of pursuing people to do something, this kind of um, a creation of a desire or loathing, as Stefan Dedalus calls it, are dynamic emotions. You want to have something or you are taught that something is bad and not, um, not uh, desirable. Uh, Stefan Dedalus simply sees these kind of emotions woken by the storytelling point of view as um, um, second kind of a second hand art, not really valued as a good storytelling, because they are practically propaganda or they are uh, pornography. They make you want something or loathe something. So as an ethical aesthetic in any storytelling, uh, choice via Dedalus suggests as static emotion, 
uh, the Aquinas Claritas, a clear, um, sharp, fair and true and beautiful observation that includes the complex layers of storytelling, of the phenomena via the storytelling. In that kind of an emotion, we do not um, uh, learn things from one point of view, from which different things are good or bad or fair or true or untrue, but we are rather introduced to choral points of view and understand phenomena better through storytelling in order to make better choices ourselves. So I feel this Dedarulus point of view on the ethics of the aesthetics of storytelling is, a matter of fact, uniting uh, both the ability of story awoke feeling, but at the same time inform us on the complexity of phenomena and let us make our own decisions.